Hello, carpet cleaning world. It's your administrator, Roger Lloyd. And tonight is Tuesday night. The revolution show for the carpet cleaning industry and the carpet cleaning world. Now, tonight, as you can read below, it says RLMA services for the carpet cleaning industry. Inbound phone answer, answering, excuse me. Then it has the phone number. Once we get done, if you feel like this is something that you need and you're ready for. But I can't tell you enough. You need to stop answering your phones. For just the main point alone, it makes you sound as small as you are. You never want your clients to know you're just that guy. You want them to always have the interpretation that you are an organized organization. You don't have to be a large organization, but you want to look as you are an organized organization. Now, I'm getting ready to bring Janae Raleigh Lloyd in, who runs and owns RLMA Inbound Answering Services, or she owns RLMA Services, exclusively for the carpet cleaning industry. We have so many newcomers in the last month or so that have joined our group and have joined the industry. And you need to understand with all the competition that surrounds you, with everyone joining the carpet cleaning industry every day, every minute, every hour, you need to set yourself apart. So I'm getting ready to ask Miss Raleigh Lloyd an array of questions because half of you don't think you need an answering service and the other half of you are too stubborn to release your phones to someone because in your mind, no one can answer the phone as good as you. And you're probably true. But once again, you're showing the size of your organization when you don't have someone that you can trust that knows the industry exclusively to answer your phones. So without further ado, let's bring in Miss Janae Raleigh Lloyd and introduce her, if you don't know who she is already. All right, everyone. This is Janae Raleigh Lloyd from RLMA Services, inbound phone answering. Hello, Perfect Cleaning World. Hello, Janae. A stand for applause. If you hear something you like, let her know about it. Put a couple A's in the comment box so she'll know you're listening. After all, she is doing this for you. That's who. So, Janae, tell us a little bit about RLMA and yourself. Well, uh, about myself, I have uh, well over 25 years of uh, experience in the customer service world from corporate America, as you would say. Um, and I've done uh, half of that in HR and HR management. And in doing so, I've picked up ways to uh, improve. I don't want to say perfect because there's always room to do better, but we've picked up ways uh, to improve on how you answer your phone and the image that you're uh, projecting to your potential customers and your current customers. Now, Janae, as you're very aware, there are other answering services out here, some that have snuck even in our group, some that have been around in our group before you came about. But they I'm well were, aware. They weren't exclusively for the carpet cleaning industry. Now, I'm gonna ask you a battery of questions. Whatever you can answer, answer. Whatever you don't feel comfortable with, just say you pass. This is not a trial. You're <laughs> not on trial. We want to know why we should choose you. So, the first question is the obvious question. Why should I relinquish my phones 
or if I'm brand new to the industry and I'm learning and buying truck mounts and equipment and everything myself, why should I trust you and your staff to answer my phones? Thank you so much for that question. That's an excellent question. Um, there are a few there are a few reasons for that. The number one reason, in my opinion, is because I and my agents are all well trained in the cleaning and restoration industry. Period. Let's start there. Of uh, the fact that. Uh, we could be answering for other industries. Uh, I've been approached to do so. Uh, it wouldn't take much to do so. However, uh, being trained to answer questions that have to do with cleaning and restoration and being able to exclusively um, deal with customers that, are, that have those needs, we offer those solutions for just just that and just that only. Okay, let's get to some meat and potatoes here so we don't lose the uh, few guests that we have. So, if I give you access to my phones and I have uh, my potential clients calling in so they can get the basic information and get on my schedule and I'm brand new to the industry, what would you what could you tell me how the phone call or how would your agents handle that for me? Well, because we would run your script, your service, your pricing, your show, basically. We're just an extension of your company answering for you. So because we are that, um, we are well trained to uh, answer any questions and convert your calls into a scheduled job. So from the intake of the call, they ask about pricing, they ask about services, they ask about hours, they ask about availability, they ask about processes. We are available to answer all those questions and then turn those inquiries into a scheduled job. Very good. So then my question that everyone is waiting to hear from you, especially my buddy Johnny Johnson, right? Um, <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson. How much are you going to charge me or what is the pricing structure that I have to pay you for you to answer my phones? That's okay. an excellent question as well. Thank you once again. After doing a lot of research and determining that we, a lot of you are just starting out and uh, looking at what a lot of these other services are offering, which don't offer as much as this service does. Let's think about that, but back to your answer. Uh, we are looking at $125 a week plus 99 cents a minute on in each incoming call. And that's 99 cents a minute to take an incoming call to answer questions about pricing and to get that call scheduled and to get that call converted. We are given up to 10 minutes to do so. So there's a limit if they go into 11 and 12, which they shouldn't, if they do, that's a problem, but it should never go that long. And that call gets converted. Uh, we don't, I don't charge for the scheduled or booked calls like some companies do. Of course, I've done my research, they do. Um, I don't allow the call to roll over. We get the call, we answer the call for you right away. Make sure there are uh, fewer missed calls. Um, we upgrade your job tickets. So we're able to, as we're scheduling or booking your appointments, we uh, ask the correct questions to make sure that your job ticket grows even greater than what you would have expected it to be. So not only are we booking and scheduling your jobs and converting the calls that come in, we are also upgrading the job tickets for you as well. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, there's two other local 
answering services that I'm familiar with. I'm not going to put their name on blast because I'm not giving them a free commercial. But I will tell you how they do things so you can tell me how this compares. So the one company, they charge $50 a month. And then for every job they schedule, they charge me $26 for every job that they schedule. So if I have a good week and I have a lot of people that called and got scheduled, they're making a fortune. If I only charge like $120 for it and they schedule a job for me, I have to give them $26 out that $120 job. I'm not even making $100. I'm not too happy about that. The other company charges, um, well, they have packages. Um, they have one package for $95, and then it's $2 a minute, and you pay as you go. Then they have another package for like 500 minutes for like $800. $800, yeah. Or something like that. And uh, $1.60 a minute. So. I mean, yeah, they. I'm getting jobs, but I mean, I'm really paying them. I mean, when you think the first one at $26, I got to give them $95 to start off with. I understand there's a maintenance fee. You just said you have to give $125, but they have $95 to start off with, but then I have to pay $26 to them for every call. Now, with all of these services, there are startup fees. You have to do that. You have this to set up a startup fees. fee. Oh, 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 this ain't a startup fee. They want me to get them $95, for, excuse me, flat a month. And then for every job that they schedule for me, it's $26 right off the bat that I have to pay them. That can be very expensive. Um, the other one, they want me, they want me to for 500 minutes. They want me to get them $800 or $95 um, per, um, per month, and then it's $2 a call. That gets very expensive. So I'm just trying to do the math here. You're $125 a week, and then it's only $0.99 cents for every call. That I that I um 99 cents a minute for every incoming call. Yes. And then you cap it at 10 minutes. So if right. the call goes on after 10 minutes, correct. That is just on you. Right. So and we don't um we don't charge for calls that are like robo calls or sales calls or you know anything under 25 seconds, you know, we don't uh, bill for that. So I'm just trying to do some math here. So at $125, that's the maintenance fee. So you can pay your workers and whatever it costs to, you know, run your business. Is it $125 about a job a week? Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, 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 now I know you know I'm doing the math as a cleaner and trying to figure this out. So that's not bad because I, I feel uncomfortable I mean, if I'm going to pay you $26 per job, I might as well go to Home Advisor or Yelp or somebody. I mean, I mean, if I got to pay you 20, I still got to pay you $95 a month and then $26 a job. Now, some a lot of these guys, they charge $79 for two rooms. So they're not even making a whole $50 if someone call and they schedule a job for uh, $79. And I, mean, I got to give you $26 just for scheduling that job. You know, see, I see why a lot of guys would be like, no, I'm good. I'll answer the phones myself. But I understand it's the cost. Don't recommend of, it. Right. It's the cost of doing business. But what you're saying, you're not charging me for a job. It's just a flat out $125 a week to get the ball rolling. And then it's 99 cents per minute. And you cap every call at 10 minutes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So $10 um, is what the most I would pay for a phone call. Not no $20 or $26 or some nonsense the competition is talking about. No, and we're, our conversion rate to change your incoming call into a scheduled job 
will definitely be increased with every call. So the goal is to have every call turned into a scheduled job. And then if you'd like to add booked jobs on later on, you can do that, but that's separate from just the service that we're offering for the live inbound answering. So it's a significant difference. Uh, typically there'd be a $259 startup fee. We're taking $100 off of that. So it'll only be $159 to get going. So you're, you're getting immense savings right off the top right there at $125 a week. You're getting tremendous savings right there, plus only 99 cents per minute on each incoming call. And it's capped at 10 minutes. All right. And so basically, I would give you a script, and then you your staff will follow my script and my pricing. And when the calls came in, they would answer and put them on my CRM system if I have one, or you'll put it on the Google Calendar if I don't have a CRM system, is that correct? Yes and no, you don't, uh, we have a script already set up. We have a script that you would approve uh, in order you know, to keep them the amount of time on the phone to a minimum, but effective enough to create a scheduled job. So the average call is two to four minutes. Sometimes it's like, you know, it just depends, two to four minutes is the average call. Um, so that translates to two to four dollars, literally, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Plus your job ticket is increased just by scheduling or using or booking, our, using our services to book yours for your customer. Okay. I like I mean I'm doing the math in my head. That's why my eyes are wandering in the back of my head. It's not that um I'm not listening to you. I'm just thinking that this when I'm thinking comparing the prices to your competition at you know four or five hundred dollars can add up real quick at twenty six dollars a call and five hundred dollars for three hundred and some odd minutes. I may not even come close to three hundred and some odd minutes. But I still have to get them five hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. I, I get that. That must be the plan for the companies that are really doing it like that. But if I'm hiring someone to answer my phones that knows my industry, I do expect you to keep the minutes down to a minimum. And I like the idea that you cap it at ten dollars per minute. Right. But now I think that the um the knowledge of your technicians should, or excuse me, technicians, mm -hmm. from your staff Agent. members right. um, has to be shown because see the, the trick of hiring you and your staff is that it's exclusive for the carpet cleaning industry. You don't have to worry about them being, oh, okay, well, let me have call Roger and Roger will call you back and after he's tired and beat up all day, he'll call you back and he'll work it out with you. Let's, right. I, I, Our I like agents, it. let me just give a, if I can address that. Yeah. Our agents will be prepared to answer certain, uh, to address certain issues. They will ask if you're dealing with area rugs, they will ask if they are synthetic or if they are a synthetic blend or if they are fully 100% uh, wool because they will understand that uh, certain temperature water can can and cannot be used depending on uh, the method, uh, but depending on the cleaning method that's being used for those area rugs. They'll have to, they will know to ask if these are heirloom rugs, if they have fringe on them. They'll know whether you want, if yours is the type of business that wants to roll up these rugs and take them out of the residence and take them to your facility, or if yours is the type of business that'll clean them right there, they'll be prepared. They'll they will be prepared to do either one, whichever is required. So you will have agents that are well trained 
they will know that when a customer calls back with a grievance and they say that a spot wicked back up for whatever reason, they'll know how to address what that is because they'll be well prepared and well trained. Well, I like and appreciate what you're saying, but you know, there's always proof in the pudding. So let's see one of Janae's staff members handling just what she said. Let's bring this up and Thank give you. Janae a quick break. And let's see how young Kendall here handles this. Great day at BioClean. My name is Kendall. How may I help you? Yes, hi. This is Lisa Welch. You guys just cleaned my carpet yesterday, and the state of my family room came back. It's so strange. Oh, Ms. Welch, I'm so sorry this happened. I believe this can be corrected. What you're experiencing is called leaking. And this happens when the rest of the stain rises to the top of the carpet fibers, causing it to look as if the stain is ripped here like the tip of an iceberg, but we can fix this. Um, we can go too further, but we will need to come back out and do a clear water rinse, and that should solve the problem. What time works best for you, morning or afternoon? Morning. Great, I have tomorrow morning available. Uh, at 9 a.m. <coughs> does that work? Yes. Yeah. Perfect, let's book you for 9 a.m. And I'll send you a confirmation email now. Okay, thank you so much. It was my pleasure, thank you for choosing by. So in that demonstration, you can hear the agent, uh, number one, apologizing, explaining without giving a science lesson, explaining what happened, then explaining the process of how we would correct it, and then went right into our availability so we could get out there to get it done. And she was okay with it. Yes. Yes. I, it does uh, happen. I'm sorry about the volume on that one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna let Janae tell you a little bit more. I think I have um, one more agent that she videoed so you can really we see. We need another, another see, way to see. Well, I don't know how good the volume, like I said, we'll like let them see so they can okay. understand the uh, importance of having someone that is knowledgeable answering your phones. This answers the question that I first asked that everyone forgot about already is how can I feel comfortable releasing my calls to an answering service when they're not going to answer it like me? So let me just see if we can do this one. Hopefully, young Derek will sound a little bit louder and we, you guys can really get an <clears throat> understanding. Three ensures the highest percentage of calls get answered <coughs> and helps avoid missing any more job opportunities. Good morning, it's a great day at BioClean. My name is Derek, how can I help you today? Hello, Blake's Carpet Cleaning. Sorry, I can't, I can't hear you, I'll call you back. All right, so uh, did you want the uh, fabric protector with this as well? Um, uh, let me see here. Just one second. Hello, uh, Blake Carpet Cleaning, how can I help you? I can't hear you right now. I'm All calls will be answered by industry-trained, top-notch customer service representatives who will upgrade your job tickets, not just upsell them. Well, Mary, allow me to recommend it, especially since you are under warranty. Anytime you have a spill, it will beat up for you to wipe away with ease. Do you want to add that to it? My goodness. All right, sir. So that's going to be $120. Is that going to be, um, well, excuse me, you're going to be paying with your card. So it, it looks like it, it, for some reason, it, it's not going through for some reason. I don't know why. I have plenty of money in there. Don't you have an office or somewhere I can call and make the payment there? Um, no, do you have any, uh, do you have any cash by chance or, um, or another method of payment? Uh... Live inbound answering will help effectively project the image you want for your. All right, Janae, you care to tell us a little bit about that? Okay, let's go from, let's try to take it from the top. In the beginning, uh, you had young Derek that was uh, 
pretty effectively answering the uh, the phones uh, live, of the, taking the inbound calls and uh, helping schedule an appointment. Then there was an image where you saw the technician trying to speak over the equipment while he was taking a call. And that's just kind of where you, a lot of you find yourself. You don't want to have to deal with that. You want to have um, an agent that will help convert your calls into a book job and that will uh, process your payments and that'll upgrade your job tickets. All of those things to be an extension of your workforce during your business hours. So you can provide excellent service doing what you do best. And, uh, After you had, I'm sorry, I was just going to go on with the other, with a couple of the other images. I'm sorry. Uh, you had an image uh, where the young lady was upgrading the job ticket and she was, she said, well, I'll pass on the um, carpet or the fabric protector. She said, oh, so your carpets are under warranty or not under warranty? She said, oh, no, they are. She says, well, I would highly recommend that you get them. And then she says, well, OK, we'll go ahead and upgrade to the uh, carpet protector. So that was an example of um, our agents quickly recognizing where an opportunity to upgrade your job tickets for you. And they do it easily without blinking an eye. You may forget to do that. That's, a, that's something that's a, a step that they'll be required to do in every call. All of the calls are monitored by me. Uh, I pick them randomly. I reward them for making sure that they are hitting all of these points. So these are things that are done behind the scenes just to make sure that everything is done smoothly and seamlessly for you. Anything else? I'm sure there will be, but <laughs> for now. All right. So, um, well, we talked about the pricing. I know we've never talked about that before. So they understand that. They see how trained your staff is in the industry. So for the many new members of the carpet cleaning world and in the carpet cleaning industry, what would you like to say to them? For the newer uh, contaminated by the rest of the members in this group. <laughs> well, well, that's all to be expected. If you don't have anyone to answer your phones, it is strongly, strongly recommended that you do so. If you have someone in your life that it, that is uh, willing to help you get your business off the ground, a partner, someone that is in the business with you, a spouse, a significant other, a sister, brother, cousin, neighbor, whomever is fully supporting you. If you are not where you can start off with the service full on, get them trained. RLMAServices.com is our website. We can help you get them trained. We have a program for that. Uh, we can help you in that sense. Um, if you're just getting started, this is something that you certainly want to start off on the right foot. The whole idea of Roger Lloyd's Marketing Assistance Services is to help avoid a lot of the pitfalls that he's experienced in his 31 years in the cleaning restoration business. So it's just simply meant to help a lot of you look a lot grander, a lot bigger than you truly are. And this is just the thing to do so. It gives you a much more professional edge. It, it provides uh, comfort and value in your customer. They feel valued when they are welcomed back, when um, they are recognized. They feel valued when they are when certain care is taken to hear just what needs to be done in their home. And they want to trust you and trust who is cleaning their home. And that's just where we are in 2021. All right. And I'm just going to cut through the mush. Listen, while you're in mush. Your, the mush, when you're in someone's home and you are cleaning their carpets, or doing whatever you're doing there with floors, furniture, whatever. You are just talking to them. 
Just like in the video there, when a young man was talking to the customer and his phone rang, he said, oh, excuse me, hello, Blake's Carpet Cleaning. That is a no, 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 no. What else is a no, no, no? Is when you're in someone's home and you're talking to them, trying to do an upsell, trying to explain what needs to be done and your phone is ringing or beeping in your pocket, oh. even though you may not answer it, that's still a negative moment of truth right. for you. When I go in someone's home and I first greet them, I say, hello, my name is Roger. I introduce Jordan or whoever my technician is with me. I let them get a full glimpse of us in our new cool shirts, but that's a different story, um, uniform shirts. But the thing is this, they're, um, my undivided attention is theirs. When I greet right. them, I always look around, I look up and I look around and I say, wow, you have a beautiful home. Even right. if it's not, that's just what you need to say. That's called small talk that makes customers feel comfortable. And it shows a certain degree of your professionalism and etiquette. And the rest I would have to explain to you in the Carpet Cleaning World University if you really want to learn about carpet cleaning etiquette. But this video right here is targeted toward Janae Raleigh and her wonderful staff of exclusively <laughs> trained carpet, the carpet cleaning industry. It is her job to train these people into understanding that they work for a carpet cleaning company. Absolutely. And most of all, most of all, that they work for you. That is something the leading competition. Oh, yes, Roger called them. I called them. I played <laughs> with them. I tested them out. I couldn't believe that. Ignorance is the best word to say for it. For our industry, a lady calls and says, yes, I spilled some juice in my carpet. Can you guys get it up? And they said to me, oh, well, you know what? I'm going to have someone call you right back and they'll be able to answer that question. That's a no, no, ladies and gentlemen. Can you get juices sold out of carpet? Yes, I'm so sure. I'm, I'm not even going to do it because Janae has her people trained. Oh, yes, I'm so sure. When our technician comes out, he'll be happy to go over all the spots and spills that you have and give you the best percentage possible of your expectations on how much you can expect them to be neutralized or come out completely. That is just a given, ladies and gentlemen. They don't got to take your name and, and give you to me. I'm going to be annoyed if I'm paying a, an, an answering service that can't even answer if you got spills in the carpet. Now, if they got red wine or something like that, your staff should be trained to say, well, you know what? I'm so sorry to hear that. But when our technician arrives, should you employ us, he will give you the best as um the best answer possible that, you know, will tell you what you can expect or something like that. See, Janae's trained to do all this. I don't do that part. The part that I do is make sure her people know that they work for a carpet cleaning company. And if any of you know me at all, Johnny Johnson just gave me the best compliment ever the other day. And I don't even think he realized it. Johnny Johnson and I talk quite often when he's not making videos bragging about the wonderful work that he does. And he <laughs> said, Roger Lloyd, I got to give it to you. On that technical stuff, you really know it. So if Johnny Johnson can say that to me, who's been in this industry almost as long as I have, I train her people to have that level of technical education. But this is what all of you have to understand. Ladies and gentlemen, their job is to do one thing and one thing only. 
And that is to make sure that each and every one of your clients feel comfortable with the experience that they're about to get from you. The experience start with Janae's staff. And Janae, by all means, Janae, you used to work for Burke, Burke Williams and some of those big major um, companies out there in good old Cali, right? I did, yes. And uh, you used to train their staff, right? I didn't train Burke Williams staff, no, but I did for other companies, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I, yes. <laughs> but the one lady did say when I called her back that whoever was answering my phones needed to work for Disneyland. And at <laughs> that time, you know me, I'm all smiley, giddy, giddy, such a salesman, right? Everybody that knows me, such a salesman, right? <laughs> so when she said that, Oh, Roger, whoever is working, answering your phones needs to work for Disneyland. I said, oh, really? Thank you. And she knew I didn't know what that guy was talking about. So <laughs> she said, wait a minute. Do you know what I mean by that? I said, no, man. What? She said, don't, I don't know if you are aware, but Disneyland has the top notch, number one yeah. customer service. They are world renowned world. as far as their customer service. Yes. Yeah, so that was a huge compliment to me. So I appreciated that. So, I most certainly did. If Janae's good enough to work for Disneyland, you right there who's looking at me right now, she's definitely good enough for you to hire and work for you. Hey, now, Janae, nice. take us home. Well, basically, I just wanted to uh, make sure that everyone has the uh, rlmaservices.com website address and also has uh, my contact information, 484-420-7220. That's for RLMA services. Um, reach out because uh, we wanna help uh, convert your calls, convert them into uh, scheduled jobs. We wanna help process your payments. We wanna take your grievance calls. Keep the integrity of your company. Keep the integrity of what it is that you're doing deal with grievance calls, um, you know, on a small scale or an, on a serious level, you know, a lot of your grievance calls can still turn into long time customers and clients. And we want to, you know, be part of that in helping you uh, provide, providing that solution for you. Um, upgrading your job tickets. That's a gem because we're firm believers in working smarter than harder. So why not? If you don't have to roll up your hoses and hurry up and get to the next job, you can have increased your ticket by $100, $150 just by having the agent say and do the right thing on every call. Makes a difference. Um, when we're an extension of your workforce, we treat the job as if it's our own or the company as if it's our own. Um, during your business hours, we're available. Um, up to six days a week, by the way. Um, your agents are all trained, once again, and available to take your calls and grievances and are um, trained based on the services that you provide and, and learn your uh, services menu and your pricing menu uh, very well and can keep up with any specials or campaigns that you decide to implement or add on. They're well prepared, whether you are a square footage type cleaner or if you are a per room type cleaner. If you are a, a dry method cleaner or if you do all methods of, of cleaning, whichever type of cleaning you do or whatever restoration services that you do provide, we do that for you. We also make sure your uh, voicemail and after hours um, recordings are set up for you as well. So those are things that are offered. Just take a look at rlmaservices.com and uh, you'll be able to see the array of uh, services that we are offering. And if you have any questions, we can try to help customize some of your services for you just to get things rolling. Uh, otherwise, I think I've set a mouthful. Yeah. Ladies, a buck 25 a week. 99 cents a minute on each call. The phone number is scrolling below, ladies and gentlemen. 
if you wake up tomorrow and you're ready to take your business to the next level, or if you're not sure you're ready to take your business to the next level, just right. dial the number. Talk to Janae and see what y'all what you're missing out on and what you shouldn't be doing in the first place. Remember this from me, Roger Lloyd. The magic isn't in getting the job. The magic is in getting the job again. See, we keep getting confused. I watch these posts day in and day out in the group, and everybody, oh, I need to get a job. I need to get jobs. Um, should I go to Google? Should I go to Facebook? Should I go to Yelp? Should I go to Home Advisor? Well, what should I do? Stop buying jobs or leads because they don't get you. You still got to get the job. Stop buying leads. Ladies and gentlemen, every job you or your technicians get should be already in the back of your mind. This is a repeat client for the next year. Every year, the magic isn't in getting the job. The magic is in keeping the jobs you have and growing your business and getting new jobs. If you are not getting at least 60% of your clients back next year that you got this year, then it's back to the drawing board. Every year, you should be able to look in your finances, your taxes, your bank statements, and see a growth, even if it's two more new clients, if it's three new clients, every every year of that of every month, you should be seeing new clientele and keeping at least sixty percent of the clientele that you have. Can I just say something? It's something that I kind of glanced over, or I don't think I really touched on much and kind of make the mistake of assuming everyone was aware. So forgive me ahead of time. Your CRM system that you're using, our agents are well-trained in most of the CRM systems that uh, most of you are using, whether you're using Service Monster, Market, Jobber, or House Call Pro, which is one that um, we are very, very familiar with. So, uh, or even Google Calendar, a lot of you aren't there yet. I uh, strongly recommend that you have a CRM system. Um, being able to have an agent that can utilize that and knows it like the back of their hand is just so much more valuable than just an answering service that's going to take a message, jot it down for you, and tell you Mrs. Jones called at 2 p.m. You want Mrs. Jones' phone call to have turned into a scheduled job? that has a, a ticket that may have started out at $129 and got in, increased by $100, maybe. So that would make a difference for you. And also, most of you think you're so good at cleaner at cleaning anyway. Most of you think you're excellent cleaners. I challenge you, this is the Roger Lloyd challenge. How many of you are good enough to get your clients to schedule or six months away, or a year later, right after the job is done, that you're doing to tomorrow or this year. Oh, yeah. How many of you are good enough to get your client to schedule six months out or a year away right after the job is done? Now, if you can show me that you can get five jobs in one week that is proven that is scheduled on for the next year or within the next six months from you, I'm going to give you a, bio, a, a, a eight, six pounder of my bio clean. That is the Roger Lloyd challenge. So you got every, nothing to lose and everything to win. If you can get five jobs in the same week of your clients scheduling for the following year, Right after you're done your job that day, you got a six pounds of bio clean on its way to you from yours truly. All right, Janae, I want to thank you. Unless you have anything else you want to say, go ahead and say it. Once again, rlmaservices.com or reach out 
connect to me at 484-420-7220. I'll be very happy to speak with you about um, us becoming an extension of your workforce and becoming a solution and working for you during your business hours. Thank you very much. 45 minutes on the My news. My pleasure. You guys got 45 minutes of the best inbound answering service information for the carpet cleaning industry. It's up to you. It always was. And it always will be. And it always will be. Y'all take care now. Till tomorrow night, we'll have Larry Cooper. Thank you.